Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us this week. Today, we'll be making bread pudding. Now, I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is the first time I've made this recipe ever. Lord have It's the first time I made bread pudding, ever. Oh my God! So, we'll be on this journey together. So bread pudding is pretty much just bread in a custard. And usually you use old bread or bread that's been sitting out for a couple days. So if you have a loaf of bread in the pantry that's on the verge and you're not trying to make no sandwiches with it, you can use that for your bread pudding. So we'll be making some bread pudding with some donuts that I made the other day. And then we're gonna be making a chocolate base. So fingers crossed and let's hope this work out. So we're gonna head and get started. So I have my bowl here and I'm gonna go ahead and put my milk. And this is actually really simple because all we gotta do is just put everything in a bowl and mix. I got my eggs. I got a little bit of cocoa powder. Now, I did a twist because I did cocoa powder and I used some um, Mexican hot chocolate, some abuelitas. So we doing this just any kind of way <laughs> on the low. And then I have my vanilla because I'm out of the vanilla extract, so I have vanilla paste. But you can just use regular vanilla. Now that our custard base is all finished, I have some donuts that I made a couple days ago and I already cut them up into bite-sized like pieces. I have some that are iced have some with chocolate. And so that's why I chose to do a chocolate base. So now we're just gonna put all of this donut into the custard. So I'm just gonna get this, get my, that was my salt base. <laughs> At least I tried it. We just gonna pour this all right in. <laughs> And I'm just gonna press this down into the base so that all the pieces of the donuts can get nice and covered. Cause the reason you wanna use old bread is because it soaks up the liquid a lot better than fresh bread. So we wanna make sure that this gets all soaked up and it's gonna be nice and juicy. All right, so that's good. And then we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes before we put it in the oven because we wanna make sure that it's absorbed as much moisture as it can before we bake. And then we're gonna make some cream on glaze in the meantime so that we have something nice and delicious to pull on top. So let's head over to the oven. We've moved over to the stove top so we can go ahead and start our cream on glaze. So I have some milk here. I'll put it in my pot. Oops, sorry, that's cream. This is the milk, and I've mixed my vanilla um, paste in there already because, again, I ran out of vanilla. And then I'm going to mix my sugar in here, and we're going to let this get hot. And then, you know, at a good temperature, bring it to a slight boil or simmer. And then I'm going to temper this into my eggs, which I'm just going to pour a little bit of this mix, hot mixture in the eggs and then pour it back. And a cream on glaze is pretty much just an egg custard, an egg-based custard. And so this is also what we use as a base for ice cream. And so if you ever wanna make ice cream, you can take the same recipe and churn it if you got an ice cream maker at home, but you know, <laughs> or you can buy one. So now it's coming to a little simmer. You can start to see the bubbles under in the bottom. So now I'm gonna go ahead and temper this into our egg yolks. You want to keep on stirring until it gets a little bit thick, but make sure that you don't cook the egg yolks and make scrambled egg. We see our anglaise getting thicker. We see it kind of coating the pan a little bit. The best test to see if it coats the back of a spoon, but I know this is good. So I'm gonna take this off the heat. I'm gonna splash in a little bit of bay leaves because why not? And then we're gonna take this and uh, put it to cool. Our donuts have soaked for about 30, 45 minutes. You can actually soak your uh, bread or your donuts overnight if you want for maximum moisture. 
but we're just doing this for 45 minutes. Everything's nice and tender. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this into my pan. Now y'all don't judge my pan. I just did not wanna have to wash a lot of dishes. I did not want it to be hard. So I'm gonna put half of this in here and then I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit because I'm gonna start putting some of these chocolate chips in here just so that as it's cooking, it's gonna get nice and melty and for extra chocolatey, crunchy goodness. Yeah, so we're just gonna put that in there. Ooh, that's a big chunk. And then we're gonna put this on top. Don't make a mess, y'all. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle the rest of these chocolate chips in here. And then we also have our oven already preset at 350 degrees. And we're gonna cook this for about 40 minutes or so. We wanna cook it till the middle is nice and set. It's kind of just like a pie. It jiggles just a little bit, but it's not super wet. So that way we don't overcook it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and then we're gonna come right back. Now our bread pudding has come out the oven. It cooked for about 35 minutes or so, but it looks nice and set. So now we're gonna go ahead and plate this up so we can eat it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut across here. We got this big old slice. Oh, I gotta cut it twice, my bad. Ooh. And y'all again, don't judge my foil cause when I wash this pan, it's gonna be so easy. Don't eat no foil though. And then hopefully I can get this piece out and one set. Ooh! Uh-oh. Corner down, corner down. Okay. If you struggle a little bit, it's okay. Everything tastes better after a struggle. <laughs> we might be missing a slight corner piece. I'm gonna just pretend and piece that right there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful like it was never missing all right and then we have our bailey's cream on glaze sauce and we're just gonna put spoon this right on top oh yeah look at that i want extra sauce just a little bit It's time to dig in now. I'm so excited and scared. The sauce tastes really good, so let's see how the final product goes together. Ooh. Ooh. What? Okay. Oh, okay, we might have done something today. All right. Well, this turned out to be delicious. So I can't wait for you to try this one at home. Don't forget you can do any bread, whether you do my donuts or this. If you wanna do the donuts, follow my page and see the last video or two videos go. I can't even remember. I made donuts, I'll put the link below. And then you can use that to make this awesome dessert. So thank you guys again for joining us. I can't wait till we come back next time. Who knows what we're going to make. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and this video. And we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.